Work. Let's work. Work. We're in the trenches. Work. Break it down to defensive line. Work. From tech work. and fundamentals. Work. To NFL work. and college work. football analysis. Work. You're listening to Big Dog Trenches. Work. 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 Let's work. The first question that I want to address is a question that I've gotten quite a bit. And that question is, Big Dog, what makes a great pass rusher? And, man, if it was that simple that we can package that answer, put it in a powder form, mix it with some water, put it in the blender, and drink it. And there it is. Everything we need to be a great pass rusher, we just consumed it. If only it was that simple, but it's not. It's not an easy answer because to be a great pass rusher starts with you. In my opinion, I've trained a lot of, and I continue to train a lot of defensive linemen all over. Uh, Professional guys, collegiate players, high schoolers, even middle schoolers. I train them all. If you want to get better, then I'm here to help you get better. The answer to that question isn't a one-size-fits-all answer. I've seen guys 6'5 that are dominant in the NFL, college, high school, 6'7. But I've also seen guys 6 feet and 5'11 do great things in the trenches. You know, we like to rely on our size. We like to think that just because I have the perfect size or my arms are very long and my hands are big and I'm fast so I'm very strong, but that's what's going to make me a successful pass rusher. That's not true. That's not true at all. None of those things, nothing guarantees a success as pass rushers. The only thing that comes remotely to a guarantee is our mentality, your attitude, your appetite. What is your passion? What is that thing? in you that drives you to get up in the morning that makes you try to figure out ways to make yourself great that's to me is the start to know how to do all of these pass rush moves to be strong and to be fast and to be athletic and have great agility and know how that's the beginning but we forget sometimes that we have to ignite those things and make those things work for us. When I get asked this question, I like to use the metaphor of a vehicle, a car, a truck, a van, pick one. With these vehicles, they have everything that it needs to function well, to be efficient. The job of that vehicle is to move you around to get you from one place to another. Some of those vehicles' responsibilities and jobs are to carry certain things, is to carry a load. Some of those jobs of vehicles is to transport other vehicles. Sometimes it is to pull another vehicle. Or if you're driving across the country and you're you're carrying your luggage and you're carrying your things with you, that vehicle has the power to do that. These vehicles have the ability to do what they've been designed to do. The only thing is, is that none of those vehicles work until you turn on the car, until you stick your key in the ignition and you ignite that vehicle. Unless you ignite that vehicle, the vehicle will not move. It will not function until you ignite it. You put the key in the ignition and you turn it on. When guys come to me and they tell me, Coach, I'm big and I'm strong and I squat this and I bench press that, And yes, those things are important. You must be strong to play in the trenches. You must be quick and agile and flexible to play in the trenches. You must have great technique to play in the trenches. There's a lot of things that you must have. But if you don't ignite the animal in you, none of those things mean nothing. None of those things can actually help you be productive and successful if you don't ignite that animal in you, that dog in you, D-A-W-G, driven attitude wills greatness. You want to be a great pass rusher. You want to be a great person, a great player, uh, whatever that might be. You've got to look in the mirror and find that answer because that's where the answer is. The answer's in you, big dog. You've got to find that answer. 
Stop looking for what you don't have and identify what you do have and ignite what you have. I've seen vehicles with three wheels and get the job done. I've seen, we see motorcycles with two wheels and get the job done. Everybody does not have to be the same, same size, same height, same speed, same agility. We're seeing players now that are playing with one hand as opposed to two. And we say, that's amazing. That's amazing. Why? Because it takes two hands to play great football, to be a great pass rusher. Says who? Of course, everybody would like to have all their limbs to be successful. However, does it mean that I can't be successful if I don't have everything that I need? Absolutely not, because the one thing that you need to be great is within you. You have to ignite what you do have. There are some people that have everything that they need, but will not or cannot ignite what they have. Their vehicle never turns on because they're forgetting that even though you have everything in place, you have your four wheels, you have your engine, you have your exhaust pipes, you have your steering wheel, you have your uh, gasoline, you have all the functioning pieces that you need to be productive and successful. However, you're forgetting one thing, big dog. You've got to turn the car on. You have to ignite the vehicle. You've got to ignite the animal. And part of that, part of the ability to ignite the animal in you starts with your attitude. If you take the word attitude and you give it a numerical value, that means you give it a number value for every letter. For example, A is one and B is two and C is three. But you take the word attitude, A-T-T-I-T-U-D-E, and you give each letter a numerical value. I want you to do that, and I want you to add all the letters up in the word attitude. Now, some of you know what it adds up to. And when you do the math, big dog, you're going to see that attitude, when you give the word a numerical value to the word attitude, it equals 100. What do you think that means? Some people say it's a coincidence. Some people say, oh, that's just a coincidence. It doesn't mean anything. I don't see it that way. I think that the fact that the word attitude equaling up to 100 is giving me an answer. It's telling me something. That isn't just my thoughts, but I believe that attitude plays 100% into what you will and would not become. Can I be a successful pass rusher in this league, in high school, in college, right now on this play? Check your attitude. Can I be a great player in the trenches, but I'm only 5'11", 5'10", 6 feet, 6'2". Can I be productive with what I have? I can't tell you that answer. Check your attitude. What does your attitude say? Your attitude plays 100% into what you will or will not become. If you don't become a successful pass rusher, it's not because you didn't have the proper technique. It's not because you weren't strong enough, you wasn't fast enough, I guarantee you that the number one reason why you're not a successful pass rusher is because of your attitude. Watch this, big dog. You can also switch the word attitude with appetite. What's your appetite? What do you crave? What do you want? What's your appetite? What's your appetite? Do you have an appetite to be successful? How bad or how hungry are you really? Have you ever been in a situation where you have really been hungry, where you have not eaten and you want to eat? You're not eating because you don't want to eat. You want to eat. But the problem is, is that you don't have food available to you. That's a different kind of hunger. When you are hungry and you have money in your pocket and you just haven't gone to go get something to eat yet, that's a different kind of hunger. That's a different kind of pain that you have. You know that that's the pain that you're going to resolve rather quickly because you actually have the money to go get you something to eat. Just a matter of time. But what, what happens when you're hungry and you don't have the money to eat? To go buy you something to eat. 
Now what? That's a different kind of hunger. Because now you are willing to do whatever it takes to make sure you eat. Well, big dog, are you craving success as a pass rusher? Are you willing to do whatever it takes to eat?